Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today I want to show you a new writing experience in WordPress. It's called Iceberg and you can find it at useiceberg.com. And it is a markdown editing experience uh, for writing in WordPress. And it's brand new. I think it was just released uh, two days ago. I, I meant to do a video on it the day that it released, but I just didn't have a chance. Uh, it's brought to you by Rich Tabor and Jeffrey Caradang, two friends of the show. We've had them, or friends of the YouTube channel. This isn't my podcast. Uh, two friends of the YouTube channel. I featured some of their themes before and uh, some of their uh, plugins before. And this is a pretty amazing uh, editing and writing experience. Uh, and let's go ahead and dive into why. Uh, let's first take a look at the buy section so you can see the price. It's $49 a year uh, for if you want to get one site, a single site license, 99 unlimited sites per year or a lifetime version for 199. So 49, 99, 199. Let's go ahead and dive into the experience of using Iceberg and how it differs from your standard WordPress uh, editing experience. So we all know when you go into Gutenberg, this is the full screen editing experience. So we're gonna say test post, I'm writing. Lots of text here, and I'll copy and paste to make it as big as possible. So if I'm in here editing text, we're, we're all very familiar with editing text in standard Gutenberg uh, in the um, you know WordPress experience. I'm just gonna put a bunch of text right here, and I'm just writing my paragraphs going along, and we just might feel like this isn't an immersive writing experience, or I'm not fast enough formatting all of this text. How can uh, Iceberg help me. When I go to the Iceberg experience, switch to Iceberg, you can see I am in this immersive, totally decoupled writing experience from WordPress. And it is something that if you are a markdown, diehard markdown uh, writer, you're going to love this. If you're new to Markdown or you're, you still struggle with Markdown, Iceberg can really help you out with that. Now look, full disclosure, I'm not a huge fan of Markdown. I've always found myself, I mean, I'm not an experienced writer. I write a lot, but I, I'm not this, you know, diehard, uh, you know, novelist. <laughs> so I'll go through and I'll usually write my wall of text uh, or write it in another application or paste it into WordPress. And then I go in and do all my formatting afterwards. I think the big advantage that I think a lot of like, developers really like uh, and a lot of coding type folks really like Markdown because it's like a coding experience where you have these uh, sort of coding type elements where you can quickly edit content on the fly and you're not having to go back and highlight things, click another button. It's a real time saver when you're you're just a super fast writer and you want to edit these things. So if you've never seen it before, let's just take a look. If I wanted to put a heading one in, I do a pound sign space heading one. And what I'm going to do is just grab some text here. And then if I wanted a heading, let's say four, I'll do one, two, three, four, heading four. And then I'm going to paste some more text below it. Oops. Just to separate this stuff. We're gonna hit update and down on the bottom left hand corner we can view the post and that's my you know sort of entry level paragraph and then uh, the heading one and then the heading four that I put in at through the markdown editing experience so that's the sort of type of way you edit in markdown now I'm sure somebody who is a advanced markdown editor would probably define it a different way I define it as sort of a developer's way of writing content. Once you get used to all of the commands and the good thing about Iceberg is it has all of that stuff in there, you can quickly write content without you know thinking about formatting. So if I wanted to bold, I would do asterisk, close it. That would bold that statement. If I want to italicize, uh, I can just do something like that where they put the underscore and close it. And that's the quick way that, uh, those are the quick means that Markdown helps you edit content. But here's the thing I really like about Iceberg. It's this formatting. It's this immersive writing experience. It's clean and I can do it my way. First, let's take a look at editing typography. I can come in and I can move spacing, line width, 
line height. I can play with all of this and it's just a beautiful writing experience. And this is worth it for some people who just want to have this way better, clean writing experience within WordPress. I can switch to different fonts. I can switch to a system font. I can change colors. So this is default iceberg. This is mustard seed, Concord jam, or I can go custom and make the most obnoxious writing experience that I possibly could ever imagine. Uh, and it's kind of fun to play with this and you could really hone in on what you think looks good for you, right? And looks good for your, you know, write immersive writing experience. So for me, the markdown editing experience isn't the selling point on this. It's the writing experience where I can just have this new look and feel to writing long form content and just get away from all of the, the noise uh, of the Gutenberg editing experience uh, and WordPress all around it. But let's exit Iceberg for a second. You know, the challenge here is Iceberg, Gutenberg, they both end in Berg. And I, you know, it's sort of like, you know, had me thinking like, I want to order up an iced Gutenberg. I don't know. It's on my head. Like I'll take a medium iced Gutenberg with one milk, please. Um, but let's just take a look at what happens when you have a post that has all of these Gutenberg elements in it. Uh, and how does that reflect in Gutenberg? Because that in, in iceberg, because you might be thinking about that. So here's just a couple basic Gutenberg blocks. So here's a full width image, right? So this is taking up the entire editing experience here. Um, because this is the full width and what Gutenberg tries to do is show you content on how it might display on the front end of your website. So this is just a full width, uh, image. This is, uh, a itemized list. Again, this is Gutenberg block. Here's a pull quote and here's an embedded YouTube video. So when you're writing, maybe these things can become distracting. Maybe they're too formatted. They're too visual. It's just in the way and, and getting uh, a little annoying. We switch to iceberg. And you can see that they still carry over, but they're just not as sort of in your face. It's not a Gutenberg block being displayed back here because this is a markdown editor and it's sort of stripping away that experience uh, so that you can clearly focus on writing your text. You can't put a block in the middle here and maybe that's something that's gonna come in the future, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but you know, it sort of strips away those elements so they're just not as maybe loud or obtrusive into your writing experience. This is a nice little touch uh, on the left hand side, whenever you put in a heading uh, element, you can click on it and it'll bring you to that immediately to that part of your post or page. So that's a quick way for you to sort of bounce around your, especially if you have long form text or long form content, it's a quick way for you to navigate your own uh, page or post. So I really like that. Uh, and of course, all of the helpful stuff down the bottom, words count, character count, reading time, estimate. And again, all of the short codes are not short codes, but the short commands uh, right here on the right hand side. That's Iceberg. That's all I have for this. It's a very simple plugin. If you're a Markdown fan, this is gonna, you're going to feel right at home. If you're somebody who's sort of on the fence, I mean, my point of view is I'm not a huge Markdown person. I don't know if I'd ever spend the time to remember all of the commands. I mean, it's pretty easy heading the bold, the italicized, the, li the list. Um, but other than that, I wouldn't go too far as to absorbing all this other stuff. Uh, but the writing experience is great. You can customize it. You can make it look like whatever you want. And I think that if you're somebody who's spending a lot of time blogging, this is an amazing, clean, well-designed, well-developed plugin uh, from the folks over at useiceberg.com. It's plugintut.com, plugintut.com slash subscribe to join the mailing list. Did you check out my live stream with Dave Foy yesterday? Uh, I think it'll be the last video uh, from this one. So definitely check that out. It's amazing to hear his story on how he started doing YouTube for WordPress and WordPress for uh, course creation and all of that fun stuff. Check it out. Leave a comment below. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.